So these are our uh, underground fiberglass storm shelters, tornado shelters. Uh, they range in all different sizes from a four, four adult shelter to a six, eight, 10, 12, and a 20 person. Like I say, it's six foot three on the inside and it's gonna stick out um, to right about here. So it's gonna be you know, only about three or four, five inches sticking above the ground. All you're gonna see is that white lid pretty much. Being underground is one of the best things you can do, one of the safest places you can go. We also have these um, above ground safe rooms as well, which are steel, a quarter inch you know, thick steel that also, you know, they test these things. They throw railroad ties at them. They run cars into them. I mean, all different things. They blast two by fours at them at 250 miles an hour to, to replicate real world conditions in an EF5 tornado. Um, they also work as um, like safe rooms too. So if you're worried about someone breaking into your neighborhood, if you're an elderly person, for example, or you can, it's got a locking deadbolt. So you can lock your valuables in there and use it as a safe, a big safe. And it's a little bit more expensive by maybe a couple hundred dollars for the same size space. Um, but you can see how well it's reinforced with, that, uh, with those tubes in there, two by two tubes. Um, like I say, when they blast those two by fours at it, it doesn't even dent it. Um, it just scratches the paint off a little bit. Um, real heavy duty door, locks in three places, again, which is the FEMA requirement. Um, and the door opens inward. So if, even if you're in your garage and the whole thing comes down around you, you've still got seven feet of space that you can still climb up on top of rubble and still get out because the door opens inward.